الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونعوذ به من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على دين كله ولو كره الكافرون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم مثل الذين اتخذوا من دون الله أولياء كمثل العنكبوت اتخذت بيتا وإن أوهن البيوت لبيت العنكبوت لو كانوا يعلمون وبعد We thank the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal for having guided us and we ask him to keep us on the path of Islam and do not cause our hearts to go astray but to keep on extending from himself mercy and guidance so that we will remain on the path of Islam. We thank him for making us safe here. And we ask him to send relief to those people who have been affected by that storm, Irma, by that hurricane Irma. And we ask him to keep us all safe as well with the other two storms that are forming and all the other ones that may come. We ask him to make it easy for us, all of us, and indeed to save us from any sort of those kind of destruction. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, there have been people in the past who have been destroyed by the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. And I'm not saying in any way that this destruction that we have witnessed, not experienced, but witnessed with respect to what we are seeing on the social media and all that, is by any way connected to this and Allah knows best. Allah knows best. But in the past, People have been destroyed by the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal, whole nations, because of their wrong disbelieving and their fighting against the prophets that were sent to them. And when signs, when clear signs came to them, they ignored it. They ignored those signs. So those people were destroyed. And Allah Azza wa Jal has given us an example in the Quran, and it is related to these destruction. So first off, he said, "Fakulan akhazna bi zambi." Fakulan akhazna bi zambi. All of them, we have taken them in punishment with respect to the sins that they committed. With respect to the sins that they have committed, from in whom man arsalna alayhi hasiba. From among them is are those whom we sent a very violent wind that it was so strong and so violent that it would have picked up the pebbles from the earth and dump it on them and destroy them. And that was the people of Ad. The people of Ad. They made a statement and they were saying, who is stronger than us? Who is mightier than us? So they were very proud of their status. They were very happy. And Allah Azza wa Jal destroyed them and he showed them who was stronger and who was mightier. And he, see, he continues, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ أَخَذَتْهُ الصَّيْحَةً And from among them are those whom a loud noise, a loud scream took them and killed them and destroyed them all. And this were the people of Thamud, who they hamstrung the camel when Allah Azza wa Jal told them to leave it alone. They kill it. Added to that, they were very disobedient and they went against all revealed laws that, that came to them. So this loud noise came and destroyed them. It destroyed them until eventually they all died. But it was not an immediate death. They were left with their, with their noises and their movements slowing down until eventually they died. Just as when you slaughter an animal, how it kicks up and it makes some noise. It doesn't die instantly. It 
kick up and make some noise until eventually they died. So Allah Azza wa Azza wa destroyed them. Then he said, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ خَسَفْنَا بِهِ الْأَرُضِ And from among them, we swallow them up with the earth. We swallow them up with the earth. And this refers to Qarun. He was very proud. He was very, very proud. An arrogant man. And he thought he was the best. He thought that he was the best. So Allah Azza wa Jal, he swallowed them up in the earth. And his house as well. And according to the explanation, he, is, he will remain being pushed about in the bowels of the earth until the day of judgment. That is not a nice punishment. And from among them are those who be drowned. Like the people like Fir'aun and his army and the people of Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam. You know Fir'aun said, Anna rabbukum al a'la. I am your Lord, the highest. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, really, we, these, all these people and many of the other nations that were destroyed, they all felt safe with what they had. They felt mighty. They felt that they were untouchable, that nothing could happen to them. Even though the signs came through their prophets warning them of destruction in this world and permanency in the fire of hell in the hereafter and they still did not believe they felt safe they felt safe with what they have and whilst I am not saying that we are involved in shirk we are involved in disbelief and we are involved in worshipping other than the almighty Allah Azza wa Jal, I am not saying that but we have to figure for ourselves as well do we feel safe with our Islam the level of our Islam. Do we feel that, yeah, I am it. You know, I am a good Muslim. I am obeying Allah Azza wa Jal. I am not doing anything wrong. Then we do have some arrogance in ourselves. We do have some arrogance in ourselves when Abu Bakr, an, who was the best person after Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in this Ummah, he was crying and they were asking him, what are you crying for? He said that the Rasul Sallallahu told him that Allah Azza wa Jal created people to go to the fire of hell and he created people to go to heaven and he doesn't know which group he belonged to. Subhanallah, Abu Bakr, who was informed that he's going to go to Jannah. One of the ten people in being informed that he's going to Jannah. And that's Abu Bakr. How do we feel? With our Islam. So Allah Azza wa Jal, in relation to this, just after he mentioned the destruction of these people, he tells us, The example of those people who take protectors other than Allah is the example of the spider. It is the example of the spider. It It builds a house. It takes a house, and we all know the house of the spider, the spider web. In fact, they're saying that the, the silk that comes out of the spider, relatively speaking, it is a few times, maybe ten times, five times more. It is stronger than even steel or something called Kevlar, which is used to make bulletproof vests. That if you were to take weight for weight, of the silk of the spider or steel, the spider web is stronger. Wait for wait. Subhanallah. And how do we, when we clean our houses, sisters? Well, I hope some of the brothers help clean the house too. You take a broom and you just, and we take on the spider web. When the spider, that is a house of the spider, it's feeling comfortable, gets his food there or her food, because the word Ankabud is feminine in Arabic. Feel safe, but when the breeze blow, when the breeze breeze blows, it affects the spider. If it is out in the open, the rain will affect it. The heat will affect it. And of course, man, we can just take it on whoosh like that or vacuum it. It is weak. So Allah Azza wa Jal is drawing this example that the spider it takha that baita. It takes a house. 
wa inna awhana al-buyuti la baitul ankabut but the weakest of houses is a house of the spider the weakest of houses is a house of the spider law kanu ya'lamun if they would only know so when we feel safe in our houses when those people three weeks ago three weeks ago in babura and saint martin and all these places that were affected three weeks ago four weeks ago subhanallah hear the strength of allah azza wa jal part of it we ask allah azza wa jal to make it a benefit for us and not to make it as a detriment for us amen but three weeks ago would they have thought that something like this is going to happen to them when 95 percent of the houses in babura approximately would it were affected some part or portion of the house was destroyed by this hurricane and it lasts for a couple hours when allah azza wa jal sent hurricane and rain to the people of ad it went seven days and seven nights and it was worse in intensity than this and if you were to look at the videos you were actually seeing cars flying in the air cars and trucks and what not flying in the air and you see the trees being stripped of branches as a breeze is blowing so were they feeling safe in your houses 3 4 weeks ago going about their business man woman and child muslim non muslim christians hindu whatever were they feeling safe in your houses not even thinking about something like this happening to them do we feel safe in our houses are we like the spider feeling safe in our house when allah azza wa jal the forces of nature can come and destroy our houses just like that just like that and we can scream and bawl and cry about the government and infrastructure but the whole thing about it is that do we feel safe in our houses are we like the spider when we need to fix our islam we need to fix our islam allah azza wa jal said in the quran says in the quran afa aminu makrallah afa aminu makrallah referring to the people who are fighting against the muslims and, and and killing them or whatever do they do they feel safe of the strategy of allah of the plan of allah afa aminu makrallah فَلَا يَأْمَنُ مَكْرَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ Only losers would feel safe of Allah's strategy. Only losers. So we are Muslims. We believe in the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. We believe in Islam. We believe in Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But there are Muslims that Allah Azza wa Jal and the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that they are going to be punished. Some people are going to be punished. for different sins that they may have committed and some will be forgiven some will be punished and some will be forgiven we ask allah azza wa jal indeed to forgive us all you know the fire of hell is such a place that you wouldn't even wish it on your worst enemy or you should not wish it on your worst enemy serious maybe allah azza wa jal might guide president trump who knows you ever make that dua anybody ever made a dua for allah to guide mr trump why and allah azza wa jal guided umar radiyallahu an when he went out to kill rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he went out to kill rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah guided him onto islam who is mr president trump to umar radiyallahu an and make it do a ask allah to guide the leaders who knows if they guide, if they are guided you never know what can happen we, we are so filled with we with you know sometimes we are filled with all the emotions sometimes hatred creeps in enmity and all sorts of things but we don't look at the other aspect of it that some of us were not muslims and some of us were muslim and what kind of muslims we are rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaitana why we make that dua our lord cause not our hearts to go astray after you have guided us why do we make that dua do we feel safe that just yes, because we are muslims We are going to go to Jannah. Afa hasibtum an tadkhulul Jannah? 
Do you think you're going to enter Jannah? Allah Azza wa Jal is speaking to the Sahaba. وَلَمَّا يَأْتِكُمْ مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ خَلَوْا مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ And the example of those, of, of those people called that came before you, their example have come to you. مَسَّتْهُمُ الْبَأْسَاءُ وَالْضَرَّاءُ All sorts of negative situations befell them. Hardships. وَزُلْزِلُوا And they were shaken. They were shaken to the roots. حَتَّى يَقُولَ الرَّسُولُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعْهُ مَتَى نَصْرَ اللَّهُ مَتَى نَصْرَ اللَّهُ Until the Prophet and those people who were with him said, when is the help of Allah Azza wa Jal? So do we, again coming back to the Ankabut, to the spider, do we feel safe with what we have? Do we feel safe with what we have? We need indeed, and it is a plea that I will make to myself and to everybody, we need indeed to take a look at ourselves and fix the negative qualities we have. Fix the haram qualities that when people tell us about them, we defend and we fight back and we become angry. We become angry for a haram thing that we're doing and somebody tells us about it. Subhanallah. We should be happy and jumping in here because we know something now that we're doing something wrong and we should fix it. We should not feel safe, my dear, Brothers and sisters in Islam, many times we are in a situation and we feel safe. We, have, we, are, we are okay. We can get on from here, but we do not know what Allah Azza wa Jal will befall on us. On a lighter note, I understand there are some of our brother cricketers here. In 1976, Clive Lloyd declared against the Indians and gave them about 402 runs to make. And he had in his army of bowlers, Michael Holden and Andy Roberts, David Hulford, and they lost the match. India made 406 runs for four wickets. Well, what happened in the next match was something else. But that match, he felt safe, but he lost. That's on a lighter note. The whole thing about it is that we have to be careful how we feel safe. And it all goes back that we have to put our trust in the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Put your trust in the one who is forever living and does not die. Hasbun Allah. Allah is enough for us. Allah Azza wa Jal is enough for us. Yes, we have our worldly things, but we need to use these worldly things to seek the hereafter. And we need to get that connection with the Almighty Allah, whether we are rich or poor, strong or or, or, or weak or healthy or whatever our situation is. Our purpose on the earth is the worship of the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal and we cannot lose focus on that regardless of our situation. Regardless of our, of our situation, hold on firm to our Islam and move forward, make the correct choices. And many times in the Quran, we are told, Wala tahzan. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Because the philosophy of Islam is that our happiness is with La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah and the application of that term that there is no one, nothing worthy of worship except Allah Azza wa Jal and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is, messenger, is the messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is where our happiness lies. And we should be happy that Allah Azza wa Jal has chosen us to be Muslims. May Allah bless us all, may He keep us all on the path of Islam and may He indeed forgive us all for all the sins that we have committed. May he save us from the punishment of the grave and that of the hellfire. And may he save us from, many, from the many different anguishes of the day of judgment. May he enter, enter us all into Jannah al Firdaus, ourselves, our families, and our friends. Ameen. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'il al-muslimina min kulli dhamb. Fastaghfiruhu wa innahu huwa al-ghafurur rahim.